What's up y'all? Welcome back and today we are gonna get to know the ghost shrimp. Now, the ghost shrimp, also known as the glass shrimp, is a very popular crustacean amongst fish keepers. These guys are extremely easy to breed, which is what tends to keep them at that lower price range in the pet store. And with that low price tag, this makes them a very popular option amongst fish keepers. And this also makes them a very popular option to use as feeders. Now, ghost shrimp are considered a very peaceful species when it comes to keeping them in your aquarium. But as with all species of fish, there are always exceptions to the rule. So when you are adding new species that you've never kept before, before, always kind of keep an eye on them to make sure that they are getting along with others. There have been cases where ghost shrimp have attacked things like betta fish in their tanks. So always, always, always add new species to your tanks with a little bit of caution. Now shrimp in general tend to like to be kept in tanks with a lot of hiding spaces. They need a lot of space to be able to feel like they are secure, especially in cases where you are trying to breed them. Heavily planted tanks with additional hideouts for your shrimp is recommended. Like I said, especially if you are trying to breed shrimp. Now, unfortunately, ghost shrimp don't actually live very long lives. They do have a very short lifespan of only about one year. So that can be a little bit of a downside. If you get these guys, then you may not have them very long if they are not breeding in your tank. So if you're getting one or two as a pet, just kind of keep in mind, unfortunately, they don't really have a very long lifespan. If you are trying to breed them, then the recommended tank size for them is a minimum of five gallons. Although, as of course with all species, I recommend bigger is always better. If you can get a bigger tank size, that is always a plus. Now the pH for these guys is going to be between 7 and 8 and the temperature range is going to be between 72 and 82 degrees so they can fit in quite a wide temperature range and my cat is trying to eat my betta. Now as the name ghost shrimp would suggest these guys are typically clear translucent shrimp. You can pretty much see when they're eating what they're eating in their stomach. It's kind of interesting. Man, my cat really, really wants my fish right now. Badly. So badly. They are a very small crustacean as they only get to be about one to one and a half inches in size, so they are not very large. Now, one fun thing about shrimp though, when you are adding them to tanks, they can be a little jumpy. They are really good at popping their bodies and winding up in strange places sometimes. Now, when I worked at the pet store, I remember trying to catch ghost shrimp was always fun because you can't really net them per se and keep them in the net. So a lot of times if I am acclimating things like shrimp to my tanks, I will not just float the bag like I do with a lot of my fish. I will actually get a bucket and start acclimating them that way, adding slowly a little bit of water from the tank into the bucket before I add the shrimp into the tank. Being careful not to lose any guys jumping overboard in the process because again, these guys are really good at like flipping their body and it's almost like they just pop up. I don't know if you've ever played with those little pop pop things, but yeah, it's kind of like that. They just pop their body and they can they can jump pretty, pretty long distances, surprisingly. So anyway, guys, that's all I really have for y'all today. As always, thank you so much for watching. I love you guys and I will see you in my next video. Bye.